Hey everybody, this is Robert Price from RobPSound.com. Hope all is well with you guys. So, um, the drawing is actually getting ready to come to a close. Okay, so if you haven't signed up for um, the $50 gift card giveaway, go to the link below. Okay, it's my new site. That's how I'm um, celebrating launching a new site. Go on there and um, enter, okay, to win. You'll be signing up to the mailing list, all right? So you can just stay up to date with everything that's going on. So today we're actually going to cover an insane uh, reharm technique. Um, a lot of people know different types of concepts when it comes to reharm. So this is just one of the good ones, all right? Uh, we're going to be in the key of C just so it can be, uh, you know, so you guys can see everything. Um, I've done this song before, but of course, I like easy examples. All right. So um, let's do uh, the anthem. Right. Um, so. All right. Simple song. You know, we've heard the song thousands of times at this point. But you remember, it's not about the song. It's about um, the concept. And then you can take this and put it in um, situations or songs that you actually, you know, want. So. Uh, here we go. So the way I play it, of course, a lot of people play this six, seven to the one. Um, now, before uh, we of course, we're using the melody. That's how we always do. We use the melody. But uh, a lot of times, let me see. So one rehorn concept people do is this. All right. That's pretty cool. Um, what you're doing is um, you're taking the melody and you're saying, OK, with this uh, with this E, you know, what can I put with that chord? And that's pretty cool, right? Because you can come up with a flat two, right? Or a sharper one, and then it gets you to the two, okay? The only reason I'm going um, past this pretty fast is because that's pretty popular. Like, uh, most of us have heard that before. Um, but what we're gonna do this time, we're gonna take the melody and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to think about it. We're going to say um, whatever our target chord is, we're going to say with that melody, um, what could it be like? What else in this sense? Could it be a major seven? Could it be a minor seven? You know, could it be a major third of something, a minor third of something? This right here can have you guys coming up with some crazy stuff okay now for this example we're gonna we're gonna do a minor seven so watch this uh, let's say we started on the six and then we went to the seven now this e what is this e a minor seven of right um now i'm just going to do it for you but uh now of course a uh, major seven let me see this then this e is a minor seven this right pretty much a minus seven of f sharp okay um, and so like i said i did that for you um if i would have done a major seven what is this e a major seven of uh f so of course you need to know your scales things like that minor chords major chords for this but even if you're just starting out this can be cool for you too all right so um so like i said we're going to do a minor seven so this e is a minor seven so right there, I'm pretty sure some of you guys are like, hmm, okay. So this is how it would sound. So look at that. So right there, this that's not a half step. We just did six, seven, and we went to this F sharp, right? And it's like, man, but how do you make sense of that? Well, a lot of times we we do um, let's say forward movement. You know that was nice you know that was cool but a lot of times let's just say you actually want to be busy in this particular case now of course um i wouldn't say play this the first time around in worship right um you don't want to kill the moment um but this is when you have that time even if you want to solo and you just want to change up the melody this is something really good for you guys okay so i'm not saying do this and take it uh, take away from the moment but you always want to have some kind of tricks in your bag so, mm, so I'm just giving you guys this chord right here, um, a minus seven. Now, you may ask, how do I get out of it? And for me, when I do stuff like this, um, I try to find 
let me see, can I do like circle and movement? Because with this, we go to the two, right? After this is, right? We usually go to the two. So what you could do, um, if you have the time, you could do, okay? That's a lot. And all I did, just in case somebody's like, wait, what did he just do? Um, what I did was I thought about circle of movement, right? So you just look at this, um, the circle of fifths um, or circle of fourths, you know. But um, with this F sharp, I know that B comes after it, okay? And um, if, even if we stop right there, that's the seven of C because we are in the key of C. So right now, you know, think about it. What comes after that B? E. Okay. Now we all have chords, especially on these notes. Um, let me see. So, right, the seven, three, six. Okay. So I don't want you guys to overthink it. You know, uh, with this being said, right, I did this seven. Okay. I just pretty much I kept that A. I mean that A major, right? Because I wanted to keep that melody note. So with me thinking about circular movement to get me back, you know, to the core of the song, I'm like, well, what chords can I play that can, you know, at least keep that melody? So I went out. I'm outside the key. OK, so I'm doing a seven three now. OK, so I'll just go slow so you can take this, you know, to other keys. Now over this three. All right. Um, so let me see. Honestly, I look at it like a sharp nine, sharp five. Let me see. You see? So um, now I know that looks crazy, but um, that's kind of how I look at it, you know, with this E. But look, you see that? It keeps that melody on top. Now, of course, with this six, I apologize if I'm going too fast. Um, I know a lot of people know these type of chords, so I don't want to stay on this right here. Um, just right here, you know, just a six, and then to the two. But um, you could have done this if you don't have that much time. You could have went down to the three, and then to the two, okay? So you just wanna, uh, you know, of course, pay attention to, you know, how much time you have, and pay attention to the moment, like I said. So let's do this. Um, what if we made the entire movement a minor seven movement? Okay, so see that? So this right here would be a minor. Now I'm giving you the, I'm, you know, giving you all the answers now. But after this, you know, go back and you know do some homework. So, so that C is a minor seven, you know, of D minor seven. Okay, so the seven, that's you know the minor seven is D seven so all right so you could do that you can start on that too now I think I did this before in a previous video a while ago so all right all right so let's do another one with this D okay this D is the uh, seven of E so we still think it minor sevens I'm actually gonna change it to major uh, major sevens after this all right okay so you could have done it like that. So, okay. So you can go now, of course, like I said, don't do it with every chord, but I just want to show you how it would sound. So if we're, let's think major, right? Major seven. So we're just doing these two for today. Uh, this C is the major seven of C sharp. Like I said, I'm just giving it uh, to you now, just the answers, okay? So, but we're, we're not going to do it first. The first time around, we're just going to think of this E. So, let's just say we start with. Okay. Now, some of you guys may be like, I don't know if I would go to the four. Some people are like, no, that's actually pretty cool. Um, so, what I did was this E is the major seven of F. Okay. There's so much you can do with this. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to take this and just go crazy with it. Um, let's do another one. Let's do all three of them. So what about this? Uh, you see that? So that's so cool. 
um now you could mix and match all right you want to make it musical so i would i could do the first chord is going to be a minor seven the second chord is going to be a major seven so this technique is so cool so let's just say i want to start out with a minor seven so so i just did a minor then a major and i think i did another major but um let's just say i want to do a minor so the only reason I'm doing this, guys, because I want you to hear it. Like, I want you to be able to say, OK, wait a minute. There's a lot of possibilities, because a lot of times what we do is we take the bass note and we do like the half step, you know, thing. You know, a lot of times we say, well, if I keep the bass note going down, you know, using chromatics, then what can I do? Which is cool. That is a great um, technique for a rehorn. Um, this one is just something else you can add to your bag. So let's just say we started out with major. And then we did two minors. So with this melody note, watch this. That's the major. Um, we said minor, right? Look what I did. I hopped all the way over here. And then, okay. It gives you that out of the box type of sound. Okay. Um, a lot of times, you know, it's, it's cool. You know, you need to know the structure of different things. But sometimes, you know, you want to take it outside the box and say, well, this going to this bass note doesn't make sense <laughs> you know but it made sense with the melody but not necessarily with the chord progression and then of course you want to know where you are though so that's the next step you know know where you are because if um if i still need to get back to the two i will at least have to say okay wait a minute um let's just say i end it here so right that's the major let's do another major and then minor okay I'm like, wait a minute, in the key of C, this um, bass note is a flat five, right? Um, so if it's a flat five, what can I do to get me to the two? Because I gotta bring this back home at some point, okay? So what I said was, if you have the time, you can do a seven, three, six, two. Or if you're on the flat five, um, you could just do like a three. You know, uh, you know, so what I did was I just went from the flat five down to the three six. But there are no rules like these rules are meant to be broken, you know, like the rules that we do have when it comes to music theory. So, like I said, I just want to give you guys something else. So um, today, all we did was just talk about uh, minor seven and major seven. But you can do a minor eleven. Um, so it's so much, you know, like I said, minor third, major third, just take this little concept and, you know, just make it your own. Okay. We're creating our own sound. All right. That's the model. Okay. So, um, subscribe if you haven't. Okay. And like the video it definitely helps the channel. Um, and we'll keep going. Just let me know, um, how you, you know, how it worked out. If you actually experimented with it and don't forget to go to, um, the website, check it out. And subscribe to the mailing list, okay? Um, which is pretty much signing up for that $50 uh, Visa gift card. Okay, so take care and talk with you guys soon.